It's Monday, and today it's leg day. What's up guys? Monday morning. I'm training legs today. It's time for some strength training. Uh, we're in the gym. Today I'll be showing you what kind of exercises I'm doing. We're gonna start with some warm-up. And I always start on the rowing machine for some warm-up, just uh, five to 10 minutes of rowing. And then I'll do some specific exercises to heat up my core and to do some core stability training. I prefer doing uh, rowing over cycling as a warm-up because it also warms up the lower back and the shoulders, which I'm gonna need in, uh, in my exercises. Uh, right now I'm gonna do some more specific exercises for core stability. I had a lot of practice on that move. <laughs> A warm up for a uh, heavy strength training will be about 20 minutes. Uh, your body core temperature will take about 10 to 15 minutes to, uh, to warm up, so spend at least that amount of time on a warm up. I'm gonna continue now with some more exercises before I'm gonna start deadlifting. You can do this routine for a uh, core stability training on its own. Uh, some exercises are pretty heavy. I do it in a moderate way before I start doing my strength training so it's a good warm up and I don't fatigue the muscles too much because I will need all the stability in my strength training. Never do static stretching before your training because it will decrease your strength of the muscles. But you can do dynamic stretching, which will uh, get the muscles on tension. This will benefit your uh, strength training. Make sure you really, really warm up before you do your strength, heavy strength training. As you can see, I start to drip some sweat. That's a good sign. Today, I'm in my last training of my strength period. Strength and power is not the same thing. In general, strength training will be a very heavy weight and repetitions below six. A lot of rest in between sets. Today, I will do four repetitions with four minutes rest and I'll do about five sets building up in weight so I'm gonna start light and then end with my heaviest weight I'll do three exercises the deadlift the front squat and the single leg squat I'm starting with the deadlift now building up in weight starting at 60 kilos I use magnesium powder on my hands to uh, Avoid sweat, sweaty hands. You can uh, easily lift the bar without any straps, and I prefer to do it without. If you cannot hold the bar anymore, use magnesium powder. 
Right now it's not very heavy, but I don't want to fatigue my hands before I get into my heavy set. One ten. I always write down the weights I use so I cannot forget. And now I'm going into one fifty. Use an alternating grip on the bar. So not both hands like this, but turn one hand and the bar will not slip out of your hands like this. Lightweight. <laughs> That's number three. We've got two sets to go. I'm gonna increase the weight again. Don't lift on shoes with air. Use flat shoes with a very thin sole. So don't use running shoes, Nike Air Max, whatever. Uh, these Vans are very good because they're very flat. Uh, you can use All Stars, which are very flat and low, or you can go bare feet. It makes your deadlift a lot more stable. 160. Take about four minutes rest in between sets to fully recover. If you go faster than four minutes, you'll not be able to uh, do your set again. So if you really want to train on strength, you need to rest a very long time in between sets. Lightweight. Last set of deadlifting. I'm gonna try a little bit more heavy. 175. And that's the deadlift. I'm gonna take a little break, and then we go to the front squat. Now I'm doing a front squat. I prefer doing a front squat over a back squat. Personally, if I do a back squat, it always hurts my back in the days after. Uh, I'm not talking about the usual soreness in the, in the lower back, but it really, really hurts. So I found out doing a front squat, for me, is a lot better. Also, it puts a little bit more emphasis on the, on the quadriceps, so the front of your, uh, your upper legs. And you need a lot of strength in your shoulders too. So it's a general, a very good exercise, but very difficult to, uh, to master. I'm setting up the bar. Make sure that uh, you don't have to lift up the bar to put them in back into the hooks. As I come here, I lift up the bar and it's easily to step back. When I want to put it back, I just move forward and drop it right in here. I use these um, safety bars 
so that when I would not be able to push up the weight, I can always drop it. Also with this, the height, if you're completely down, you should have a little bit of space. You can always drop it like this. Like with the deadlift, I'm building up the weight until my highest weight. So I'm taking steps 60, 90, now I'm going to 110 and then 120. Eyeballs popping out. <laughs> I'm uh, coming up to my last set. 120 for the front squat. If you think you're gonna do a weight that uh, you're not gonna make, you can use a spotter. They will stand right behind you and they can help you a little bit on the, just on the moment where you need it so you can finish your set. Done. Taking a little break before I move into my last exercise. One legged, uh, I think, Romanian squat. I'm training on strength. That's not the same as power. Power is torque multiplied by speed, and strength is the torque. So when you train on strength, it's all about heavy weights. The speed of the exercise is not as important as the weight. You're recruiting all your muscle fibers in your body to help you lift up the weight and that's what you're doing in strength training. It's a neuromuscular training and it needs to be with very high weights so you will train your fast muscle fibers. After the spirit I'll go uh, train to power which will be very fast exercises. So you're taking a moderate weight and move it as fast as you can. Torque multiplied by speed equals power. So a moderate weight with a very high speed will be a high power. First you need strength, then you can train on power. Okay, sec second set of uh, single leg squats. Uh, I started with 60, this is 80. In general, with this training, I, uh, I get a bit tired at the end, so I'm not sure if I'm, if I'm gonna do five sets. But uh, we'll see how much energy I've got. It's one leg at a time, 
and I take a break between left and right because you sort of use both legs so take a little break in between I've got one set left. I'll go for 90 kilos. I think I've never done 90, so uh, I'll try to do four reps. And I think I'm done. When you're done, you're done. Okay, I failed, sort of, so I'm gonna use my spotter again for the last set with my second leg. That's my training, it's time for cooling down. The cooling down consists of uh, about 10 minutes easy cycling, but because I go to the gym on my bike, I can do that back home. The cool down is also important. You can do about 10 minutes of easy cycling. And because I ride my bike, up and back to the gym. I can do this on my way home. So I'm on my uh, usual uh, city bike, just cruising back. And then when I'm back home, I'll start eating. Guys, if you have questions about this training, post it in the comments and I'll try to answer them all. And if not, maybe I can answer them in my next Q and A. breakdown of the training also in the description so check that too like I mentioned after this I'm gonna train on power so I will be uploading another video of my power training in the gym but that will be in a couple weeks like share subscribe see ya